Tell me what you have to go and drive me so crazy. Now I'm feeling lost without you, and I just can't be without you, baby. Want you all night long. Want you all night long. Tell me what you have to go and drive me so crazy. Now I'm feeling lost without you, and I just can't be. Many days is yet to come. Too many times has come to pass. Too many moments put aside. Getting out alive. Getting out alive. Writing letters in the sand. Hello there people, welcome to another video. Now, this is one of those days where you got, when you get a lot going on and you don't know if you're gonna do a video. You want to, but there's just that much going on. Um, but what I'm doing now <coughs> is let me just jump on the bike. Yeah, what I'm doing now is I'm preparing myself for my big you know sort of adventure coming up which I'm going to talk about in this video should I upload it and I've can you see that camera behind there I've mounted this GoPro to a 50 inch selfie stick to the back of the bike to test to see what it views like over the bike and can I see the road ahead with it so it's a bit of a camera test today and also you'll notice that um, A I've got a sore throat and B, yeah, it's just hammering me today, I swear to God. I'll try and be positive. I'll, I'll try and be positive. Um, but yeah, we're trying out this new Shoebirth E1. I've already sort of worked out my camera positions. I've already tested it once. And I can honestly say that I thought my previous helmet was brilliant. But this is something else. To be able to, this is going to be my new vlogging style. I'm going to be able to interact with you. Um, I'm doing a 5,000 mile ride from Oxford in the UK all the way to Antalya in Turkey. And the reason for that is I'm going there because I'm going to get all my teeth ground off and they're going to make me brand new porcelain crowns. Um, I'll explain to you about you know that trip and procedure um, when you get your teeth done over in Turkey it's a lot cheaper and and they can do it in much quicker time and this particular place that I'm going to has got um, great reviews so I'm going there in September and the plan is to ride the whole way it's a 5,000 mile round trip and I'm just buzzing with excitement I can't wait um I'm having a few issues organising it. They won't insure me in Turkey and there's various other things that's a bit of a problem. So um, I'm still organising it. The, the gear that I've set up, I've been gathering, you know, all my touring gear for about two years. So I've gone for lightweight, I've gone for efficient. I'm not taking anything that I don't think I'll use. So I will do a video on the kit that I've organized in the come in the coming couple of weeks maybe um, I've got to get myself organized quickly because September is coming really fast now the reason why I'm doing the trip is because I've never actually spoken about this on YouTube um, until today I've suffered with anxiety all of my life um, it comes from when I started school, I was the smallest child in the whole school. And then that brought on bullying. And you know when you're four foot tall and you're getting punched in the face by bigger lads and shut in a cupboard, how can you possibly go through life living a normal life? So this adventure is me fighting back 
with basically the anxiety that it left me. There's very, there's quite a lot of other reasons, but I want to, this adventure, I'm going to talk about everything on this journey and what bullying has kind of done for me. Um, when, you, when you've been bullied, you then go through the rest of your life powered by people that doubt you. And I'd, honestly, I've got so much to talk about, but let's go take a ride out. I'm gonna buy a sandwich and let's just test this camera set up. I might upload this, I might not. It's all about checking the sound. Um, do you know what? Let me know what you think about this new interact, interacting vlog, vlogging experience. You might say, well, we can't see your eyes. Well, there you go, you can now. Um, I'm gonna do the whole journey with various camera positions around the bike, including this one, that's gonna be up about maybe three foot high. Um, and I'm hoping that the whole thing is just a different vlogging experience for you. But anyway, I appreciate you coming along with for the ride today. Let's get this thing fired up and let's take a trip out. In fact, I'm gonna put that camera on at the back. Peaceful. What I'm going to be doing is practicing my drone um, skills over the next couple of weeks, um, doing all these camera tests. I really hope that this camera gets an incredible view. Actually, I'm going to face it down a little bit. Yeah, there's a couple of motor vloggers out there that are absolutely smashing it at the moment for quality. You know, they're, they're just taking two GoPros and they're just doing things different. Um, people have said to me, do you think motor vlogging is dead? I think, you know, if I'm going to be completely honest with you, going out on a bike and just chatting about daily things, I, I believe is that's dead. But I was watching this video with Casey Neistat, um, it was months and months ago he brought it out and he said everything that you do on YouTube has got to have a story you've got to have a storyline and that's where motor vloggers are, are missing something there's no story there we can all go out and talk about our daily lives but 
there has to be you know this is why you know um you know uh car builds and bike builds this is why they are absolutely smashing youtube because it's something to follow you've got a story well I, I'm trying to improve on my motor vlogging because I'm not giving up. I really enjoy this shit and I want to make it enjoyable for you. So, so I will be, you know, I'll be, I'm going to be setting up adventures like this trip to Turkey um, to get, to getting all my teeth done. Um, you know, I, I've basically suffered with anxiety all my life. And this is my way of fighting it. And it incorporates um, something that's gonna boost my confidence, getting my teeth done. It's a great vlogging experience. And I really hope that you follow me on this journey. I'm gonna be showing all the kit that I've bought. I've just gone out and purchased two, um, two new tires. They're Anarchy Adventures. So I'm gonna fit them on the roadside to show that it can be done um, by hand using just the GS Adventure Toolkit. Um, other things that I'm going to be doing, I'm talking to a couple of companies at the moment about supplying me the, um, the items that I want to give away on this journey. And uh, there's one piece of kit in particular, let me just show you, I've, I think I've got it. Is it here? I had it somewhere, one sec. Here you go. You might have seen a previous video of me filming how this Dyna plug works. Now, this is the most reassuring bit of kit that I'm gonna be taking on my 5,000 mile adventure. So, I've got in touch with Dynaplug and I've said to them, look, I would like to do a giveaway on my journey to four people that give me the very best adventure advice. So um, what, it, what it is on my journey, I'm gonna be reading out comments. So if you want a mention, um, if you wanna put a sticker on my panniers before, before I set off, you're welcome to send me some stickers. Um, you can message me and we'll, we'll sort that out. But I'm going to be giving away four diner plugs to the people. You know, you know, you've only got to give me some advice and it will spark off. Because I'm an anxiety sufferer, what that will do for me is it will, will relax my anxiety. And I kind of, you know, I'm so passionate about adventure riding. I kind of want to be a hub for all tons of information that comes in. Um, I don't, I'm... I'm passionate about adventure riding. I want more and more people to go around the world filming everything that they do so that we're not sitting there listening to the news as to how horrible the world is. So it's kind of my way of linking stuff up, if you know what I mean. So yeah, in September, I'm going to be taking this ride. I'm going to be reading out comments and probably when I get back to Croatia, I'm then going to announce which person has helped me out the most and I'll be giving, I'll be giving out the um, adventure advice that they told me that it turned out to be vital in my journey. Now, like I said, I'll do a video on the kit that has taken me a couple of years to get together. Um, I'm going to do a video on changing these tyres on the roadside. If you want to follow me on my dentist trip, um, I've asked um, the dentist if I can vlog my experience. So if you want to follow me on that and learn, um, not learn, but see how I get on, you know, please subscribe. Please click on the notification bell. I've got so much more coming to this channel. Many days is yet to come Too many times has come to pass Too many moments put aside Getting out alive Getting out alive Writing letters in the 
Yeah, I just want to say, um, there's a 23-year-old girl set up off on a sports bike yesterday. Uh, it was actually yesterday from the north of England, and she's going to be riding around the entire world. Um, her name is Roxy, and her, her Facebook is RTW Round the World um, Roxy. So RTW Roxy. Now, she normally puts up YouTube videos, she's done 101 videos, but they're normally um, her riding out with just the music playing. Um, but I've spoke, I've messaged her a few times and said, why don't you, um, why don't you talk and let us know, you know, interactively how you're doing and that. And that's what she said she's going to do on this journey. So follow her on Facebook. Follow, her. it's RTW Roxy on on YouTube. Um, she would appreciate the following that she gets 23 years old and you can see on Facebook the route that she's gonna take and like I've said to you we need more people traveling around the world and filming their experience to share it with the rest of us I believe and that this is no you know with my anxiety that's mental health issues I believe that adventure is it's the medicine to, to good health. You know, you know a male lion has to travel 250 miles a day. And if you took that male lion and you stuck him in a cage, that lion would become anxious, depressed, um, nervous. Well, we are just the same. We, we are built to be exploring. We all live our, our lives in these tiny bubbles of society, what society want us to do, buy a house, pay a mortgage, this, that and the other. But um, what it forgets about is getting out there and exploring what's out there. The news paints a picture of how horrendous this world is but the adventure riders paint a picture of how beautiful this world is and how lovely and accommodating and caring that the people are. The single females riding around in Iran and Oman. Um, this this round the world Roxy, she's, she hasn't got a fear in her, in her body. She's just going for it like a lot of people do. They just fucking go for it. So. I hope you can see my point, um, where my journey is going to take me, where it's going to end up, will I do a round the world trip, it's a bit of a, dr a dream since watching Ewan McGregor and Charlie Borman do it. Um, yeah, I mean this is my baby, just to be out there on the road, it's a one to one with your machine. Um, relying on it and it being your home for such a long time that just you know you know not knowing where you're staying that night not knowing who you're going to be chatting to that day that's adventure to me I've done two holidays in Europe driving like the last two years and there are days where you never know where you're staying and that gives me that excitement anyway let's let's take this thing for a little ride and I hope you understand me, I, I don't, you know, I'm not preaching, this is just my opinion. Um, I just want to share the passion that I have. I'm using my voice today. I just want to share this passion. You know, I, I get criticised for riding a GS Adventure and this is the most exciting bike I've ever had. The riding position, and the size of it and the weight of it is just something I truly love. Anyway, um, oh yeah, I mustn't forget, I will do a vlog on this, um, on this Shiba B1. So far, 
so good. Right, let's go for a little ride. We might buy some food in a minute.